Hi, good morning, everybody. On this Wednesday, happy Wellness Worship Wednesday to you all, wherever you are in the world. This is Jose. I'm speaking. I love you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. Thank you, Lord, for a morning, a sun morning, because God is good all the time. His presence is fulfilled in your presence, and you could feel it, and you could really breathe fresh air. And I just love the Lord. And today we are going to do Bible study today, and then I will get into my notes concerning the the body language. Okay, so let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord. Yes, we just thank you, Lord, for life. We thank you for being alive and coming to your presence, Father Lord, because, Lord, we come into your cause to praise and we thank you and bless his holy name because you are worthy to be praised. And I pray in the name of Jesus, Father Lord, wherever people are listening to me, wherever they are international and locally, Father Lord, Caribbean and in the States, Father Lord, yes, that look, Father Lord, yes, we saturate your people with your presence, Father Lord, because your presence, Father Lord, is fullness of joy, peace, happiness, long-suffering, tenderness, patience, kindness, meekness, and every single thing, Father Lord. And let us walk after the fruits of the Spirit, Father Lord. And let us take joy into your presence and take joy into, Father Lord, things of you, Father Lord, and not things of this world, Father Lord. Father Lord, this world is coming to a close, Father Lord, but Lord, we just lift you up, Father Lord, lift you up with the beauty of holiness, Father Lord, because Lord, you sacrifice, Father Lord, you die on the cross to save everyone, Father Lord. And Father Lord, we just pray in the name of Jesus, Father Lord, those who don't know Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, Father Lord, that will come to know him, Father Lord, that the Lord, Father Lord, they repent and do what is right, Father Lord, in your sight. And I pray in the name of Jesus, Father Lord, that give a touch to your people, Father Lord, wherever in the world, Father Lord. So we just come before you, Father Lord, I ask as I bring this word, Father Lord, to your people, Father Lord, and the messages that will pass across today, Father Lord, I pray, Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, that Lord, you just sanctify your people, Father Lord, and resurrect them, Father Lord, and rebirth them, Father Lord, and transition their minds and transform their minds, Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father Lord, and that this will be a blessing to their hearts, Father Lord. So I'm about to give a word, Father Lord, so you ask this, Father Lord, give me thanks to Jesus Christ, Lord, Amen. So, I... This is the day that the Lord has made. I rejoice and be glad in it. And we are always glad in the presence of the Lord. Because God, God, God is awesome. God is everything to us. And we are going into the book of Micah today. Micah chapter 6 and chapter 7 today. I will be explaining the verses to you all very clearly and very clairvoyantly. And... And then after we will have the my notes, the body language, right? So we'll have a little chorus. You are holy Lord, you are magnified your name with your presence lord you are beautiful lord i love you lord with all my heart because you are holy you are sanctified lord we lift you up in your presence, Lord, because you are my Lord above, because you are holy, 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 holy. And everlasting, and your truth is during to all generations. I love you, Lord, with all my heart. I love you, Lord. Nothing can separate us, Lord, because you are my shepherd. I am your sheep, Lord. I am Lord in your 
Lead us in thy records, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord, because you bring us life. You are the giver of life. You are the taker of life. You are lovely, Lord. You are holy, O Lord. Angels are singing. You are worthy, O Lord. You are worthy, Lord, yeah. You are worthy, Lord. 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 Angels are singing. You are worthy, O Lord. Angels are singing. You are worthy, O Lord. You are worthy, 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 Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. You are holy, Lord. You are holy. You magnify your holy name. Magnify your holy name. Jesus, you are everything. Magnify your holy name. Jesus, you are everything. Jesus, you are everything. Jesus is my deliverer. Jesus is my deliverer. I know he delivered me. Jesus is my de Jesus is my de Jesus is my de Jesus is my deliverer. Jesus is my deliverer. I know he delivered me. 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 He is a deliverer, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus, you are holy, Lord. Lord, Lord, help us, Lord. You are worthy to be praised, Lord. You are omnipotent, omniscient God, oh Lord. Oh Lord, give me you, Lord. Give me everything of you, Lord. We, Lord, we love you, Lord, with everlasting. And your truth is joy to all nations, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. So I hope you will love that beat and love that inspiration and love that thing because that is going to boost you up this morning when you praise and you worship and you magnify the lord god is doing something in your life today receive every single thing okay so let us go on to micah okay micah chapter 6 verse 1 to 15 okay so my my catch up to six if you have your pen you have your notebook or you have any joint reading materials or any writing materials listen okay let us read hear you know what the lord said arise contend thou before the mountains and let the hills hear their voice thy voice hear ye o mountains the lord's controversy and ye strong foundations of the earth for the lord had a controversy with his people and he will plead he will plead with israel oh my people what have i done unto thee and wherein have i wearied thee testify against me for i brought thee up out of the land of egypt and redeemed thee out of the house of servants and i sent before thee moses aaron and miriam oh my people rem remember now what balak king of moab consulted and what Balaam the son of Beo answered him from Shittim unto Gilal that he may know the righteousness of the Lord. Wear it shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before 
the high God shall I come before him with burnt offerings which calves of a year old. Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams or with ten thousand of rivers of oils? Shall I give my first, firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body, for the sin of my soul? He hath showed thee, O man, what is good and what doth the Lord require of thee, but to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with thy God. The Lord's voice crieth unto the city, and the man of wisdom shall see thy name. Hear ye the rod, and who hath appointed it? Are there yet the treasures of wickedness in the house of the wicked, and the scant measure that is abominable? Shall I count them poor, pure with the wicked balances, and with the bag of deceitful weights? For the rich men thereof are full of violence, and the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies, and their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. Therefore also will I make these sick in smiting thee, in making thee desolate because of thy sins. Thou shalt eat, but not be satisfied, and thy casting down shall be in the midst of thee, and thou shalt take hold, but shall not deliver, and that which thou deliverest, and I give up to the sword. Thou shalt sow, but thou shalt not reap. Thou shalt tread the others, but thou shalt not anoint thee with oil and sweet wine but shall not drink wine. For the statues of Omri are kept, and all the works of the house of Ahab, and ye walk in their councils, that I shall make thee a desolation, and the inhabitants thereof, and his sin therefore, ye shall bear the reproach of my people. Okay, so that is Micah chapter 6, verse 1 to 15. So it's saying, right, God is speaking to the, the people of Israel, right, the people of Egypt, sorry, right, and God, the Lord's controversy, and what God wants of us, right, the requirements, God's instructions have to pass among nations and among the um, Egypt, because Pharaoh, right, it will have Pharaohs in their life that they need to stand up for, it have Pharaohs they have to pray for too, but stay still, Stand still, be at peace, and humble yourself in humility and love. Learn that. So we see in chapter 6, right, that in verse 1, Hear ye now what the Lord said, Arise, contend, thou before the mountain, and let the hills hear thy voice. So arise, arise up and contend. Arise and go forth. Arise and, and hear the voice of the Lord, right? And go to the mountains, right? The Lord's controversy. The Lord's controversy mean the controversy over the Israel and the Egyptians, right? That was a law pass, God's law, not man's law, right? That was a law pass among the people that they will hear the voice of the Lord and listen to what he has to say because he is the one in control of our lives, right? So judgment was passed too, right? And we see in verse 3 that, Oh, my people, what have I done unto thee? So they cannot believe that they've done so much of wickedness, that God is going to judge the wicked. God is going to judge people who are doing wickedness to the righteous people. And God is the wicked shall perish too. Right? So, verse, verse, 6 say, where shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before the high God? So the most high God we have to bow down. So every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So no matter what you're going through, right? Remember that God is above all, right? He's above all. He's every day. He's in control. No man is in control of nobody, right? We have the authority. We have the dominion. We have the power through him because God is almighty, and God could take down Pharaohs. God could do anything because he's God. And we, have to, we ought to worship him in spirit and in truth all the time. Right? And look up. Look unto the eyes of the Lord daily. Okay? And verse 7, will the Lord be pleased with thousands around? So God was, God really was, okay, God take out, God use Pharaoh. Right? to do these things, right? All these things about the firstborn and to kill the firstborn and all these things. We are experiencing 
the effect of the Bible in the Old Testament, Exodus and the, these things, right? God had it to deliver the people out of Egypt and heal them because all type of thing, trials and tests and, and tribulations and all these things had it to come because sin caused all of that to happen, okay? So one man, so by one man's sin, right, death, all these things had to happen, right? So we always have to draw close to the Lord. That's what God is saying. In the Lord's, in what the Lord requires of us, we have to draw closer to him as ever, ever before, right? And verse 9, the Lord's voice cried unto the city, and the man of wisdom shall see thy name. That means the Lord's voice. Hearken unto the voice. The Lord's voice was very strong and very true. Right? That God had it to warn some people. God had it to warn these people. That his, he has the authority and the power to take down people. He has the power and authority to do whatever he wants to do. Because he created us in his own image and likeness. And we have to, we have to be very serious about what we are doing. And stop taking life for granted stop taking these things for granted and start seeing with our own eyes and open our eyes and these things right and verse 11 talk about verse 10 talk about the wicked talk about the wicked the, are there yet the treasure of wicked in the house of wicked and the scant measure that is abominable that is the questions and verse 11 shall i count them pure with the wicked balances right for the rich men they have offer full of violence so God was speaking, right? God was showing in Micah chapter 6, was 1 to 15, and we're going on to chapter 7 too, that the people were really wicked. They really didn't have God in them. They really were wicked. They were wicked, and they were full of violence and full of deceitfulness and full of deceit, because out of a man had come evil thoughts, okay? And they spoken lies of, and they did all type of witchcraft and, and, and treachery and all these things. So God wants to deal with the wicked. God wants to judge the wicked too. Because the wicked wanted to, okay, the enemy wanted to blind, blind, blind the Christian people and blind the people who are righteous, who underneath God's blood. Because God, because perfect love casts out fear. And that's what the people didn't want. They wanted to destroy God's um, God's territory, but it didn't happen, right? God had to stop these things. God had to send all type of things to people to stop them, to warn them that he is the creator. He's the most high. He's the Elohim. He's the El Shaddai. He's the omnipotent God, right? And verse 16, well, verse 15, thou shalt sow, but thou shalt not reap. Right? So they could sow how much they want, but they will not reap nothing. So it would come like, they will not reap no harvest then. Right? They could sow. When you sow into good ground, right? When you sow a good soil into good ground, you will reap harvest. But when you sow into bad soil, you will not, all your crops will be destroyed. Right? Just as how the locusts, God had to send the locusts and thing, right? To pestilence and all things. And up to this day, God is still doing it. Because we see in that locusts just eat. Naturally eat every single thing. And it's, it's going to get very, it's not going to get better. It's going to get worse and worse. That's people, those who don't know Jesus Christ as a personal savior. Okay? So, we go into verse chapter 7, sorry. Woe is me, for I am as when they have gathered the summer fruits, as the grape le leanings of the vintage. There is no cluster to eat. My soul desires the first ripe fruit. The good man is perched out of the earth, and there is none up right among men. They all lie in wait for blood. They hunt every man his brother with a net, that they may do evil with both hands earnestly. The prince asks, and the judge asketh for reward, and a great man he uttereth his mischievous desire. So they wrap it up. The best of them is a briar. Right? The most upright is sharpener, sharper than a thorn hedge. The day of thy watchman 
and thy visitation. Come it now shall be their perplexity. Trust ye not in a friend. Put ye not confidence in a guide. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom. For the son dishonor the father and the daughter rise up against the mother and the daughter-in-law. Against the mother-in-law, a man's enemies are the men of his own house. Therefore I will look unto the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation, and my God will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in the darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. I will bear the indignation of the Lord, because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, where is the Lord thy God? Mine eye shall behold her, now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. In the day that thy walls are to be built, in that day shall the decree be far removed. In that day also he shall come even to thee from Azariah, and from the fortified cities, and from the fortress, even to the river, and from sea to sea, and from mountain to mountain, notwithstanding, the land shall be desolate because of them that dwell therein for the fruit of their doings. Feed thy people with thy rod, the flock of thine heritage, of thine heritage which dwell solitarily in the wood in the midst of Carmel. Let them feed in Bashan and Gilead, and as in the days of old, according to the days of thy coming out of the land of Egypt, will I show unto him marvelous things. And the nations shall see and be confounded at all their might. They shall lay their hand. Upon their mouth their ears shall be deaf, they shall lick the dust like a serpent, and they shall move out of their holes like worms of the earth. They shall be afraid of the Lord our God, and shall fear because of thee. And who is a God like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity, and passeth by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage? He retaineth not his anger for ever, because he delighteth in mercy. He will turn again, he will have compassion upon us, he will subdue our iniquities, and thou wilt cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. Thou wilt perform the truth to Jacob and the mercy to Abraham, which thou hast sworn unto our fathers from the days of old. And that is Micah 7, chapter 1, verse 20. So God is saying in this hour, right, that he is going to feed his people. He's going to take them out of Egypt. He's going to clothe them. Right? He's going to destroy the works of the enemy. That's what he's saying. Right? He's going to raise up the remnants and them. Kingdom remnants. And he's going to do his work. Right? Because whatever was planted, whatever the enemy was meant for evil, God is going to turn around for your good. According to Jeremiah 29, 11. Right? But in this, God is going to feed the sheep. God is going to feed the people and lead them out of the Egypt because they was in the wilderness at a point in time. And God had to take them out. So God is saying in Micah chapter 6, right? And chapter 7, right? That the wicked will not be, the wicked will be catched. Because whatever comes out in the dark will always, whatever, whatever the enemy do in the dark will always be in the light. And that's what's going on now. God is exposing and God is revealing that your pharaohs, right, listen to the voice of the Lord. Be cautious, be careful. Family, cousin, everybody, be careful. Be careful. And be vigilant and cautious and learn that God is doing something new in your life. God is taking what the enemy has meant for evil and turning it around for your good. Because he's, he is a lovable person. And God is no respect of persons. And God is a consuming fire. And God is a jealous God. Right? And he said in verse 5, Trust ye not in a friend. So do not trust. Not everybody's smile and laugh is a friend. Right? Remember that not everybody say Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom too, either. So that is what the Bible said in Micah chapter 7, verse 5. Trust ye not in a friend, but put ye not confidence in a guide. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom. For the son dishonoreth the father, 
So it will have gnashing of teeth. That is what it's saying. It will have gnashing. It will have people going against the family and fighting and war will take place. But God said, don't be dismayed. Look up. Look up to me and I will give you the rest. I will give you rest. Come unto me, all ye laden, according to John. Come unto me, all ye laden, and have a heavy laden. And I will give you rest. So all you put your burdens. You put your burdens. I lay down my burdens up by the riverside. Right? And study war no more. That's a song, right? So always remember, put your burdens. Cast your burdens. Cast your cares upon the Lord Jesus because he will hear at you. He cared for you. He cared for you. He hear at you. He will answer your prayers. Learn to do that. Learn. Right? Focus on the Lord daily. Right? And that's about it. That's the Bible study. Right? But coming back to... I love the Lord, right? Seek Him daily, folks. Seek Him daily. Allow God to be a guide. Allow God to be everything because without Him, we are nothing. Without Jesus Christ, we are nothing. We have to focus on Him and seek Him daily, right? So, coming back to my notes, the body language series, chapter 3. Observe how people react to certain body language. Being alert to reading the various nonverbal signals people constantly give out in the form of body language is a very ad advantageous thing to be able to do. Fortunately, it is not that hard to do, and some people are even very easy to read as they are very open and expressive. Okay? So... Hold on one minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on.
So, um, sorry about that. So, watch. However, learning to be attentive to these sometimes very subtle move movements does require some practice and understanding. People who are not in tune with their surroundings are less like to be sensitive to the body language. Pur purposely and intently being conscious of the various body reactions will allow for further understanding of the person or situation. Most reactions can be comfortable put into two distinct categories, a positive reaction and negative reaction. However, the interpretations may not always always be as accurate accurate as the thought of for instance standing closer to another person could be interpreted as being comfortable and familiar with the said person while the action of standing further away may be perceived as being slightly aloof or simply being less comfortable or not wanting to encourage a closer relationship those though all equal natural assumptions it could be totally wrong for other less obvious reasons like perhaps the perfume or scent used by an individual is overpowering and thus quite disconcerting another commonly interacted body language sign is openness is to be hugged or kissed this particular action clearly shows a person personality or their lack of in being able to read this those around are able to either extend action or use a more reserved form of body contact when trying to gauge a situation or a new perso personality to an already existing group of people the reaction spoken or implied through body language is very helpful the body language of the newcomer is also going to be reflected in the corresponding reactions of those already established in this particular scenario so that means to say that look out for people body language observing how people reacting or how, observing how people reacting to certain body languages that mean observing how they're watching you at different row they turn in the face and they saying how this girl looking so how it is what really going on with her that is how the reactions of people are so i hope this video will help you all out i hope the bible study was a good thing it was a good thing it was very blessed and the holy spirit was really talking to people all around the world so just recapping we dealt with chapter three how to observe people reaction to the certain body languages and i talked about alert and watch be watchful be mindful let us pray Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this Bible study. We thank you for this word. I pray in the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, it will be a blessing to everybody. Has wherever in the world, Father Lord. I pray that you sanctify, Father Lord. I pray that you consecrate people's lives, Father Lord. They will know you, Father Lord, more, Father Lord. And Father Lord, that you will understand and give them wisdom and understand to know everything, Father. So I just ask this, Father Lord, yes, give them a blessed day, Father Lord, wherever they are, internationally and locally, Father Lord, wherever in the world, Father Lord sanctify their holy father because you are worthy to be present just thank you lord yes i thank you i give you all the thanks and praise and honor due to your name in the name of jesus christ amen so this is joseph again speaking looking very wonderful so you have a blessed day and we'll see you in another video okay and sorry about that i'm a busy lady but tomorrow please the lord we will be having another bible study i'll have a little we'll be doing Today is the eight, right? Let me just Psalm eight. Sorry. One last thing. Hold on. Psalm chapter eight. Before I go. Right. Psalm chapter eight. Psalm chapter 8, say, O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and suckling hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest still the enemy 
and the avenger when i consider thy heavens the work of thy fingers the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained what is man that thou art mindful of him and the son of man that thou visitest him for thou hast made him a little lower than the angels and has crowned him with glory and honor thou madest him to have dominion over the works of their hands thou hast put all things under his feet all sheep and oxen ye and the beasts of the field the fowl of the air and the fish of the sea and whatsoever passeth through the paths of the seas the the o lord our lord how excellent is thy name in all the earth so psalm chapter 8 is saying that god is the king of kings god is the lord of lords and god had to worship him in spirit and in truth so i hope you all love the verse the verse of scripture that i mentioned psalm 8 verse 1 to 9 tomorrow we're going to read all psalms tomorrow is the ninth today is the 8th of april 2020 i hope you all have a blessed day i hope you all love the bible study that will be a blessing to you i hope you all love the short chapter 3 version of the body language and that's all you will be god will be speaking to you all have a blessed day focus on the lord focus on him daily pray worship magnify seek him seek his face daily and you have a blessed day okay bye bye love you with the love of jesus and we'll be praying for you all bye